An Israeli airstrike has hit one of the largest residential towers in the city of Rafah, in the southern Gaza Strip, displacing dozens of Palestinian families, as the occupying regime continues its relentless war on the besieged territory. The 12-floor building, located some 500 meters from the border with Egypt, was destroyed in the strike on Saturday, residents said. Preliminary reports said there were several injuries in the attack on Rafah's Burj al-Masri building. One of the tower's 300 residents said Israel gave them a 30-minute warning to flee the building at night. People were startled, running down the stairs, some fell, it was chaos. People left their belongings and money, said Mohammed al nabraz adding that among those who tripped down the stairs during the panicked evacuation was a friend's pregnant wife. The Israeli military did not immediately respond to requests for comment on the incident. Rafah, the town along the Egyptian border, which was once deemed a safe zone by the Israeli military forces, has now become the last refuge for over half of Gaza's entire population of more than 2.3 million, who have fled their homes in other parts of the territory to shelter from incessant Israeli attacks. The Israeli regime has repeatedly pummeled the area with numerous airstrikes, killing scores more of the Palestinians trapped in Gaza, already suffering from acute shortages of food and water. The latest attack comes as talks for securing a ceasefire by the Muslim holy month of Ramadan in Gaza have stalled. Israel waged its genocidal war on Gaza on October 7, after Hamas carried out Operation Al-Aqsa Storm against the usurping entity in retaliation for its intensified atrocities against the Palestinian people. Since the start of the offensive, the Tel Aviv regime has killed 30,878 Palestinians and injured 72,402 others. The Tel Aviv regime has also imposed a complete siege on the territory, cutting off fuel, electricity, food and water to the more than 2 million Palestinians living there. The spokesman for Iran's foreign ministry says the US, Europe and international organizations have no intention to put an end to Israel's crimes against the Palestinian children and women in the Gaza Strip. The criminal Israeli regime has been assured that it has a free hand to complete its ethnic cleansing project and genocide of the Palestinian people without having to be held accountable, Nasser Kanani said in a post on his official X account on Saturday. Kanani added that in a message posted by High Representative of the EU for Foreign Affairs Josip Borrell on the X on Friday, marking International Women's Day, he warned about the high casualty figures among civilian women and children in Gaza, saying, 70% of the casualties are women or children. Two mothers are killed every hour. At least 30,960 Palestinians, most of them women and children, have been confirmed killed, and 72,524 others wounded so far during Israel's genocidal war, which began following Operation Al-Aqsa Storm by Gaza-based resistance movements on October 7, 2023. The Israeli military campaign has devastated large swathes of Gaza, destroyed hospitals and displaced a major proportion of the population of 2.4 million in the world's largest open-air prison. The Gaza Strip-based Palestinian resistance movement Hamas vows not to back down from its demand for a complete withdrawal of the Israeli regime from the territory, which has been enduring a genocidal Israeli war for the past five months. Our top priority to reach a prisoner exchange deal is the complete commitment for the halt of aggression and an enemy withdrawal, and there is no compromise on this," Abu Ubaidah said. Hamas also wants relief for our people, the return of the displaced, and reconstruction. He added amid warnings that all-out famine is stalking Gaza as a result of the war and a siege that the regime has been simultaneously enforcing against the territory. Israel launched the war against the Gaza Strip on October 7 after Al-Aqsa storm a surprise operation by the coastal slivers resistance groups against the occupied territories that was staged in protest at intensification of Tel Aviv's decades-long crimes against Palestinians. The regime has so far during the war killed more than 30,878 Gazans, most of them women, children and adolescents. Lebanon's Arabic-language al Mayadeen television news network, citing a brief Hezbollah statement, reported that the group launched a heavy-caliber Birkin volcano missile at the Israeli al-Baghdadi military outpost on Saturday, and that the projectile precisely struck the designated target. The development came a day after the resistance fighters targeted a gathering of Israeli troops near al-Raheb military site with a barrage of artillery shells. 
Hezbollah fighters also used a surface-to-surface -surface Falak 1, Dusk 1 missile to directly pound Israeli soldiers close to Yal al-Alam military site.